Hi, this is Galit Gofarb and welcome to my Gorilla Life Coaching videos five times a week. I talk about a quote that can help you move your life to a better, healthier and happier place for you and I hope you gain a lot of value from these videos. So how are you doing today? I hope you're feeling good because today our quote of the day is compliments and criticism are all ultimately based on some form of projection by Billy Corgan. Our life is based on what we project. We project onto our environment what we have within us. Our outer behaviors are projections of our inner beliefs, thoughts, and our feelings. Nothing can come to us in our outer world if we don't have it within us. Let's take anger for an example. You won't be able to be angry with someone if you don't have angry with anger within you. Many people press your buttons and then you may get angry at them, but you can only get angry with them when you have anger within you. The same goes for any quality that you find in someone else. If you see selfishness, if you see jealousy, if you see impatience, if you see lying or stealing or rudeness, then you also have these qualities within you. Otherwise, you could not have been affected by these qualities in someone else and you would in most cases have not even recognized them if they were not part of you. You cannot recognize something that is not within you. So when you find yourself in a situation where you are judging for so someone for some awful, uh, so to say, behavior, then stop and think to yourself where you have this behavior within you. In which situations do you behave in a similar fashion? Every situation we find ourselves in is a mirror about, to, about something that we have within us because we attract what we are. And when there are many things that we attract to us that we do not like in other people, then these are basically opportunities that we're given to clean up our mess. We should aim to become more developed human beings because when we do so, we can enjoy life to the fullest and live in a world surrounded by love and acceptance, providing us feelings of bliss. But not only this, when we develop, as if this is not enough, but not only this, <laughs> when we develop ourselves bit by bit by recognizing our shortcomings, we will also allow more abundance into our life. Research clearly shows that the most successful people in the world are always seeking to improve themselves and overcome their own shortcomings to get themselves to a higher place. It all begins with a willingness to understand and improve ourselves. The hints we get about what is needed to improve are those critical thoughts that go through our heads or the emotional outbursts, outbursts that we have. Um, the, these are all indicators that where where we should focus our effort on so we can move ourselves to a better place for us. I will give you an example from my own life about projection that happened not so long ago. When I had my restaurants, as I told you about, the work was taking up a lot of my time and I had much less time for my daughters. I was really not happy with this and deep down inside me I was really angry at myself that I could not provide enough quality time for my daughters. I did see them all day because the restaurants were right across the street from their school and next to the country club and my youngest daughters brought over their friends and my eldest daughter spent many hours in my place but I hardly had any more quality time with them and during this period I found myself often getting very angry. It was because of this internal anger that I had inside myself that I let it out on other people in my environment. When we take responsibility for our actions and we change what we understand to be within us but to be of no value to us, then we can enjoy life and be happier and more fulfilled individuals. When you find yourself thinking badly about your partner, your boss, your business associate, your parents, or anyone close to you, it is your responsibility to find that precise behavior that is annoying to you in the other person and to find it within yourself to improve it. What are you finding faulty in them that is also found within you? When you become aware of this, then you bring to your consciousness parts 
of your being that you were not aware of uh, previously, that you were not aware that even existed within you. And when something is brought into your consciousness, then you can deal with it and work to improve it or remove it from where, from who you are right now. And this awareness helps you reach a higher potential, the potential of love, basically. The finding the source of love within everything and everyone because it is there. Ralph Waldo Emerson said, a man uh, is what he thinks about all day long. We are not what we think we are, but rather we are what we think about. The more negative things that we think about, the more negative we are. And when we find more signs of positivity in the world around us by slowly removing the negative aspects and we see more positive sides in, in other people around us, then research shows that we will also be more successful in life. In fact, a positive attitude found to be an indicator of success in 85% of people who have become successful with only 15% of their success based on ability. The remaining 85% is based on having a positive outlook at life. And this is why it is of utmost importance to seek and to amend these negative thoughts that go through our heads most of the day in order to reach a successful place that we desire to be. Even 94% of most successful people on the Forbes 500 list stated that it was their positive attitude that was the most important factor for their success and is what brought them to where they are. The problem is that in order to form a positive attitude, you must get rid of those ghosts inside your closet. And this is not an easy, easy thing to do. Most people prefer not to know and also, of course, not to take care of what needs to be changed within for them to become a better version of themselves and to reach their full potential. But we must do this to reach our highest potential and it starts by noticing these projections uh, that we give off to other people as warning signs to us. Negative projections are the things that basically we need to work on to improve within ourselves to become a better version of ourselves. And once you work on personal development, it does become easier with time to look at the most difficult places within us and release those difficult feelings and allow our true nature once again to take hold of our life. As I always say, we are already perfect, but we just need to remove these negativities within us to allow our perfection to come shining through once again. Our true nature is pure love, is that of pure love. So as I always do with these videos, I will provide you with a question that you want to ask yourself to help you improve your life and move it to a better place for you. And the question of the day is, what negative traits do I notice or look for in other people? And where can I find these exact things within me? Now start to work on improving these traits one at a time as they come up in your day-to-day -day life. As usual, I recommend writing the, the question and your answers in a notebook, especially prepared for these life coaching video, videos so that you can improve your life and move it to a better place for you. So to finish off with, the affirmation of the day is, I am growing daily by looking within myself at what needs to be removed from my life and doing what I can to remove it. I am growing daily by looking within myself at what needs to be removed from my life and doing what I can to remove it. So tell this affirmation to yourself as many times as you remember to do so today because with repetition and affirmation has the power to completely transform your life. I promise you. <laughs> so have a wonderful day. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe to my channel if you like these types of videos and ring the notifications button for notifications every time I upload a new video. Also, visit my website, thegorilladiet.com for anything to help you improve your health and wellness. So have a wonderful day. Thank you very much for joining.